Chinese New Year closures are over and employees are back at work and processing plants have reopened. The first wave of an expected three waves of COVID cases in China this winter is said to be over and restrictions either in or towards China continue to be lifted. Most plants are said to be struggling while select few are thriving. Plants that are thriving are said to be increasing their workforce, processing over 400 tons of raw materials per day and producing over 15 containers per day. Pollock raw material pricing has bounced back up since Chinese New Year. However, plant managers are speculating pricing to drop again due to slow markets in North America and the EU. EU buyers are said to be delaying orders that were to ship in February and March. Haddock buyers may be getting the incentive they have been waiting for to secure large quantities as plants believe haddock raw material pricing may drop even further. For Pacific Cod, although raw material supply in China is still short, the new fishing season is upon us. Alaska has already harvested about 40,000 metric tons of Pacific Cod, which equates to about 24% of the total allowable catch of 168,000. Russia has over 18,000 metric tons of Pacific Cod harvested this year. If you're looking to get into Cod, Haddock, Pollock programs, get in touch with your Tradex rep. Our recommendation is to plan early, but keep your fingers on the pulse in the market. Lastly, as a quick reminder, Lent has started. Large retailers jumped in with new and old promos, such as 7-Eleven and their $2 Fish Fridays Pollock Sandwich offer. Popeyes with their flounder fish sandwich and red lobster with fish and shrimp offers that span the week. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson reminding you to buy smart and eat more seafood.